Hey y'all, welcome back. Today I am in front of the camera joined by these two little cutie pies here because they would like to take a look at this HO scale locomotive with me. So, um, Chase, Lady, and I, we are going to take a look at the Atherne Genesis Amtrak P42 from the I got this at trainworld.com. Um, I did not get paid to tell you guys that. I just wanted to say if, um, like, they got it to me down in Houston from New York in, in five days. So, just want to let you guys know that. Like, I just want you to know, but, um, prices are, they're, they're cheaper than the MSRP, but, uh, but, um, I just hope you guys enjoy this video as much as I enjoyed filming and making it and as much as Chase and Lady enjoyed sleeping on the couch while I'm making it. <laughs> so, uh, let's get started. As you can see, I have my Don't Mess With Texas cap in the bottom, in the background. So, uh, let's get started opening this. I haven't done one of these in a while. I'm going to, no, I'm going to do it this way. I was going to scoot away from the box, but uh, I don't want to accidentally get it into Chase or Lady. So, uh, all right, I can tell this uh, box has been through a little bit. So, uh, here we go. We are rolling. Well, Chase is excited. All right, have some bubble wrap. Uh, not the puppy kind that I like. Here we have, Jesus, this is heavy. The box itself. And the bottom, got some more uh, protective things and a uh, few documentations that not, I'm not showing. Um, the Rapido stuff today. So uh, I'm going to flip through the pages. So if you guys are interested, I will let you guys can go ahead and take a look. have a, you know, update thingy, which I have set up on my, <gasps> okay, uh, and here we have a lot of little train thingies, um, I will do a close-up at the end of the video, but, um, and lastly, we have a train world little flyer. Won't need be needing this box anymore. So let's take a look at this one. Oh, this is the bottom. Here we are. This is the Atherne Genesis Amtrak P42. So let's go ahead and box it. There's a, is there a little seal here? I just thought, oh, um, this is Amtrak Phase 5, number 5. This is the P42 DC version. Atherne 75th anniversary in the Amtrak thing. Not interesting. All right. Here we have warranty application here. Just some info there. And uh, if you want to read that, just 
blow it up to 1080p and pause. I'm not gonna do anything. I can kind of see the locomotive. Here's the Horizon Hobby warranty information. Again, if you want to look at it, pause. After news flyer, boring. And the AMD 103 exploded parts diagram. So what you could do if you sign up for that limited warranty, you can, uh, and if a part breaks off, like if a part uh, breaks off, like it's not like you did it, then you could go to the exploded parts diagram, find that part, and um, go ahead and go ahead and send them an email or a letter, and they should send you that part so you can repair the locomotive. But, uh, ooh, I love that color. Have a little square piece in there. Uh, if you guys can let me know what that is, I will be very grateful. Bit of why on this thing, they said this thing was heavy. I'm gonna go down a little bit more. I'm really wanting a little bit like of a straight on view here. So, uh, now there is some tape. I am going to attempt to get off. Not really that hard to get off. So, kind of a, oh, there's more of it. No, I think I'm just gonna cut it. So I don't have to deal with it. Alright, that side is done. Get this side. Alright, sorry I hit the top a little bit. But, uh, alright. So, go ahead and lift this off. This is a beautiful, beautiful blue color here. Yeah, this is, this is pretty heavy. Don't know what these are, but uh, they're supposed to be cradles for the wheels. Yeah. All right, this is a beaut. Let's uh, go ahead and get started on some detail. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of details. On the front, got a little bit of a, we've got a McHenry coupler, we have a coupler cut lever, we have a multiple unit hoses with a silver tipped ends, we have LED lighted ditch lights, headlights, and I believe an LED lighted uh, number board is lit, uh, LED marker lights, the HEP, um, thingies, whatever they're called. We have this, uh, pl the front here, when they first made them, the, f the whole front here was one piece, but um, a lot of the times because of this angled, uh, the front, I guess, got hit a lot. So like they made this like a separate piece so they could just take it off and put another one on. So uh, kind of nice Amtrak logo, very crisp. Don't know what these little boxes here are, but uh, we have uh, windshield wipers separately applied. Have a separately applied PTC antenna array. We do have a cab interior. Very, very good tinting on the windows. You, know, you can, let me look. You can see through, see through them, but uh, without like, unless you put them like, like if, unless you like point them up to your light, you can't really see into it. And there is a cab interior. Turning to the side, we have the uh, side window, ladder, door latch detail, latch detail, ladder here, Amtrak logo, very good vent detail, emergency fuel shut off, truck stuff down here. We have, I believe this is like a, I don't know what this is. I think it's like a door, so like they, the, the repair people can access the engine. Five on the side here. I actually have seen Amtrak number five 
leading Sunset Limited number one, and I'll put that video here right now. as per the usual she's flying we have a vent detail here you have a back door i don't think it focused on the vent stuff i have it folk i have a prefer like the manual focus on this thing because it will blur out the background so like um here are the vents we have door with a hand railing separately applied and the steps like the main thing that i don't like about the diesel locomotives is like the hand railings that go across they always break and i hate it but uh, this there's not much to break chase really ah oh, these dogs so uh here on the back got our marker lights Headlights, door, HEP connectors. We have spare knuckleheads, which is one of the most crazy, craziest detail parts of seen on an Athery locomotive. Zero chip tens on the on the MU cables. We have the Kepler cut lever right over here. We have the sand filler hatches and uh, five on the side here. It's pretty much the same detail, except here we have a, a vent. I don't believe we do not have one on the other side. Um, a lot of people have said that the uh, blue is kind of like a turquoise and uh, I disagree. I think it looks dead on. Like, um, it does. Granted, it does look like it just came out of the factory. And, like, these normal ones are, like, very, you know, not good. But, um, I really think that the blue is, like, dead on. The blue, the silver, dead on. I, I love it. I just, it's an amazing locomotive. It is, all, as of right now, it is worth, as of right now, I think it's definitely worth the $200 that I spent on, the, that, we, that my family and I spent on this. However, I do want to make something clear. The blue on camera is a lot more, you know, it is more like dark. It's like more pronounced on the camera. Um, but um, in real life, it doesn't look that, like, you know, it's vivid. But um, that's but uh, it's not that big of a deal for me. I just want you to know that it's a little bit more of like a duller color, but like you know, it's very. But uh, I think that's absolutely fine. I think that looks even better. But, uh, that's pretty much my personal opinion. It looks like it is well worth $200. Looking up the roof, we have vent. Here we have an exhaust, which is actually put in, which is accurate. We have the horn, which is on the side. I actually have not verified that, but, um, from what I have heard this is accurate we have a lot of vent detail here in the ptc antenna now i don't know where the e-bell is or the bell i don't i don't remember i don't i think it's an e-bell on this one i think this is it right there but um yeah, well worth it. I'll uh, 
update in the comments if there's any problems down the road with it. But um, as of right now, when they release another run of it, it is well, well worth the money. I want to thank you guys for watching. I don't think Chase and Lady have anything to say, do they? Didn't think so. Alrighty. So that's a review. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you liked the video. But uh, please be sure to subscribe. By analytics, analytics have been going, I don't know if I pronounced that right, have been going crazy right now. Keep it going. Come on, y'all. Keep it going. But um, I want to make sure you guys stay. I want to say that if you guys are in Texas, stay safe from the heat Ugh. and the humidity. But uh, make sure to stay safe. Stay safe. Stay safe wherever you are. Happy rail planning. And uh, see y'all in the next video.